Hi and welcome to Car Mechanical and this is part 3 of the budget roller paint job project Onyx. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be going over the wet sanding so I can put the third coat onto the car. So I did a little bit of wet sanding after the first coat and after the second coat I noticed that it still were things I wasn't quite happy with. So what I decided to do before carrying on any further is apply quite a major wet sand using the 400 grit sanding discs over the entire car. So it's not a long video but I just want to cover off what I do and how I do it. So you can see me getting started there with the sander and I'm just constantly keeping it wet. I want as little friction as possible. I just want the sander to do its job and I'm not pressing down. I'm literally guiding the sander over the entire of the paint. So I sprayed the entire bonnet first with water um, and I just keep it wet and just keep going over it and you can see as I go over everything um, you can always see a grayness to everything now that's the sort of like a, a mush of paint level that's been lifted up now what you want to do that I didn't figure out until I washed the car after is you want to keep washing it down as you're doing everything as I'm going over the wet sand remember there's only two layers of paint on the car so far you can see that it's going back to some of the blue original paint underneath but you're just going to keep working it over and the particular reason I've done this is um, I had a lot of dribble marks over the entirety of the body from where I've been painting and this is going to come in the next video where I'll learn a better technique to not put the paint on so wet but also to spread the paint that I did have on there. So one of the things you can do to get a good feel for how the wet sanding is going is you can run your hand over it and you can feel the levels of the paint with your hand. Even with me using gloves there I can feel where it's getting down to the level I need it to be. Luckily, this paint job actually looks better on the camera than it was turning out at this point. But if you just keep going over it, and eventually you'll feel when it does get level. And if it means you go back to some of the lower layers of the paint, then that might just be what you need to do to move on with it and to get the better end result. Now, this is the entire car wet sanded, and it's not pretty. Um, I mentioned a lot of the sort of grey stuff you can see. That will rinse off and um, really take a good amount of time rinsing it, um, and it will all eventually just come off and you'll be left with the paintwork underneath so we'll we'll go to that in a second then once you've rinsed it off you're going to want to go over the entire car with panel wipe and just get any of the paint residue left off now you might not even need to do a wet sand over your paint job after you put the first couple of layers on in fact you could keep building up and you could do the wet sand later on by hand with a thousand grit however one of the things i've wanted to show in the entirety of this roller paint job i've wanted to show everyone all of the stages i've gone through so you can either learn from the mistakes i've made or get it right first time. Now this is everything rinsed off and you can see we've got the little patches of blue coming through where we bring those thinner levels down but we've also brought down the thicker levels to be level with everything else. Now in the next video we're going to be going on to the third coat and in the third video is, this is where I really get a hang of the rollers. Um, I use a two roller technique which I'll show you in that next video and I start to get a lot more of a solid result. Okay guys thank you for watching join me in the next video part four to watch the better technique I use to get a better result with the roller paint job. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified of the videos when they come out. Please share it to any of your friends that you feel would enjoy this video and please leave any comments or questions in the comment section below.